I have a shortened version of how I made this lamp on YouTube, but I was asked to do a more detailed description, a tutorial, so that's what I'm going to do today. I recycled two lamps, and the first thing I did was spray paint the top and the bottom silver. I found this bowl at the Dollar Tree, and I was thinking, if you turn it around, it kind of looks like a Tiffany lamp to me, and I love that, but I wanted some bling as well, and I saw some different lamps that had cool crystals hanging down, and while I was in the Dollar Tree, I looked at some pens, and I thought, you know, if you take the insides out of there, they can look a lot like crystals, so that's where the idea came from. I needed a way to hang those Dollar Tree crystal pens, so I grabbed a wreath and I used that to hang them. First of all, I had to figure out how I was going to hang those, so I used paper clips and I attached them with hot glue just to see if they would dangle and if they would hang good. And in order to hook them onto my plastic bowl, you want to use a welding tool or you can use a drill but i just i was afraid that a drill would maybe crack the plastic and i have this welding tool i don't even know where i got it but i know it's about the same price as a hot glue gun and i use it a lot and with this particular bowl i didn't even have to measure off where to put the holes because i could just go based on the lines that are already in the bowl and i melted six holes and then I cut my wire and used the ring that was the best fit to be inside the plastic bowl, but not exactly the same size so that my paper clipped pens could hang from it. Okay, now let me give you more details about the pens. I have picked up pens from the Dollar Tree, I've gotten them from Walmart, and definitely the Dollar Tree ones are the best. They are easier to get the insides out. And I noticed that when they're hanging, sometimes they'll hang in different directions. So you really have to have them exactly straight. And you want the bottom edges to line up evenly. So I'm going to show you in detail how to make that happen. Now, the most important thing is you bend your paper clip in half and you cut it in half and you only use one side of the paper clip. Pick which side, but stick with that side. Then they will all hang the same. I was originally trying to use both sides of the paper clip, and one is smaller than the other. Trust me, it's just easier if you use one side of the paper clip, and I saved the other side for a different project. Then put some hot glue on and push it into your paper clip, and then bend the paper clip back. I also put some cement glue because I was trying to figure out what is going to be the best way to glue these solidly. Okay, I'm going to show you this better. So push it back, cut it, and then you need to push out the side that's going to get hooked onto the metal ring. So I just pull that out with my fingers a little bit. Actually, you can start using pliers because when you do a bunch of these in a row, it starts to kind of wear your fingers out. Okay, get the tube of your pen, and we want to hot glue just the end of the paper clip, and I just kind of go around it, and then once it's in there, you can adjust the paper clip, and you want the paper clip to be standing straight up the same as the pen itself, and use one as a template and then line all the rest of them up to that exact same height. And if you have those evenly distributed, then when you hang them, they will all hang straight down and be even at the bottom. So do a bunch of those. It takes 90 pens to loop around the bowl. Now this is the next part you want to use the cement glue. I picked this up from the dollar store. Now, the reason why I like the cement glue is it doesn't drip. If you use E6000 or super glue, it starts to drip. And the cement glue goes on more like a paste. 
and you can put it around. So the hot glue was just to put it in place and hold it there until you get the cement glue on. And then the cement glue needs 12 hours to dry. So you just keep doing, repeating that process and do 90 of them. So I just did a few a day here and there, maybe 10, 15 a day, and just kind of had it as an ongoing project. If you sat down and just worked on them, it would take a little while, but it was kind of fun, actually. I, I don't mind it at all. And the whole time I kept thinking, I'm creating crystals out of pens. <laughs> so that's kind of exciting. And again, the reason why I like the Dollar Tree pens, they were easier to get the bottoms out and the insides out. Some other types of pens can be a little tricky, but the Dollar Tree ones just pop right out just using your fingernails like that. Now, if you're real frugal, you could put those aside and use them for years and years to come. Okay, so again, we're just going to glue the end and keep your template one handy. Put that into the pen and shape it. So once it's pushed in, then you pull the paper clip so that it's straight up and down. Line it up with your other pen and then you can see that they're perfect. Now, after I got done doing them, I started rubber banding them in groups of 10. So I knew how many I had and how many I still had to do. Now I'm going to show you how to hook it onto the wire. We will be, I will be taking them off before I put it on because you have to hook the wire in before you put these, but this is the easiest way to show how to do it. Now you just hook it on and then close it. You can close it with your fingers, but like everything else with the paper clips it starts to wear your fingers out so a pair of pliers is a handy thing to have and then you just pinch it around so there's still a little bit of a loop so it can slide and get put in place and the nice thing about this is the the pins will sway back and forth and create a really pretty look to the lampshade and it's just not a stiff you know, hanging down crystal. It actually sways around when you walk or when you turn the lamp on or off. It, I love it. So it's definitely worth doing and you just keep going until they line up. And the beauty of it is if it doesn't line up how you want, it's very easy to just pop the paper clip out and re-glue it. But really, if you keep one pay, uh, pen handy as your template, they will all line up just perfectly and it works out great. I love how it looks. Okay, once you have your pens, all 90 of them done, then it's ready to go inside the bowl. Uh, you can see that the eyelet, how it was attached. Now what I used for the exterior of the bowl, I wanted it to look glamorous and I didn't want to see a screw or anything hanging out. So I got one of the acrylic gems and got my weldery tool out again. And then just right on the very tip of the diamond shape of the gem, I just melted a little tiny hole. No, not all the way through, just enough to get the eyelet screw in so that I can use that as my exterior part to hold in my eyelet screw. I'm gonna show you this again a, a little bit closer and with a little bit of light. You have to hold the hot right onto the gem for five seconds or so, just enough to poke a hole. And once you screw the eyelet in, it you can hand do it. You don't need a tool or anything. It just screws right into that acrylic and holds it tight. I love it so much. And then the ring of the eyelet is gonna be on the inside of the bowl, which is where we're gonna lace the wire ring through to hold it into place. Now you see how I've got the wire ring on the inside, the eyelet screws with the gem, and then it just has a little bit of a break on the very one edge of the hoop. And once you put your pens, you hang your pens on it, it doesn't move. You don't have to attach that at all. Now I found that if you put 15 pens 
for each section. There's six eyelet screws and in between each, se each section it takes 15 pens. So get all my bundles of pens, and let them dry overnight so they're really sturdy and they're ready to attach. Now the exterior of the bowl, I did use some adhesive gemstones that I picked up from Walmart because these ones are flat. The other acrylic gems are diamond shaped, so they won't lay flat onto the bowl. So I glued some of those on and then some added some other bling, things that I had on hand to the exterior of the bowl. You want to finish all your decorating of the bowl before you put your pins on. And when I was gluing on the little strips of gems, I used the super glue. I also picked up from the Dollar Tree, but I like that better than hot glue because hot glue, you'll sometimes see little pieces of the edges. And I wanted to be able to glue it on, have it strong, but also be able to wipe off any excess glue because I wanted it to be completely clear. So here is what it looks like. I followed along the natural lines of the bowl where it already had grooves to put my gems on. Now you can use any of the gems. Sometimes they come in strips with just two gems, sometimes five. Use whatever you have on hand and cut them down to the size that works best. And I, once I figured out the line size, I just cut a whole strip and then cut each one into the single single strands and then just keep going around and around your bowl until the entire thing has been decorated and once again the super glue is the ticket because you don't want that to be popping up later on and see how this got a little bit thick on the super glue once you put the gems on just wipe it off with a paper towel and it will be steady and strong and withstand lots of things without popping off. I made this almost a year ago and it's still holding up great. I was wondering how long it would hold up and so far so good. So definitely worth bedazzling and fixing up your own lampshade. And I just wanted to show one strip after the other. It was so much fun to make. And really, you could do different colors if you wanted. I really like the crystal silver look. So I stuck with just plain simple colors. But you could use different colors if you wanted. Now, the jewel border stickers are my favorite thing. I use these on all kinds of projects. They're self, you know, they have stickers, but you do need to use stronger glue. But I had a hard time finding the right color that I wanted when I was making this. So I actually spray painted some gold ones. And that's one thing about Dollar Tree. Sometimes you can't find everything that you see here. So just adjust and adapt according to what you can get your hands on. And this is what it looks like when it's spray painted. And I actually didn't mind that it was spray painted all the way through. Now you notice that the very top, I also melted a hole up there so that it could fit through the top part of my lamp. And now you see where the uh, uh, eyelet screw attached to the gem. And this is another shot of what it looks like to put your dangling gems I call them gems, they're pens on your wire ring. It really is a fun project to do and doesn't cost a lot. The bowl, some gems, a lot of the things I used with products that I already had other than buying the pens. And I bought a box of paper clips so that I could get this all into a Tiffany inspired lampshade and taken up another notch with some glam to it and that is how you make your lamp then I put the bowl on the top and the part that already came with the lamp just screw that on tight and definitely use an LED light so that you don't heat up your plastic lampshade and that is how you create a DIY lampshade
I applied the sticker around the part where you could see the metal ring. And that is what it looks like. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like and share this video out where you can. Also, ring the bell to all so that you can be notified of new content as it's posted. I post once a week on Wednesdays and every once in a while I add in an extra video here and there. Also, if you'd like to learn how to create the sconce that you see on the wall here, just click on this next DIY that's right here on the left-hand side, and it'll take you right to that tutorial. See you again soon!